Hello, all of you ladies and gentlemen of YouTube land, of the interwebs, and, uh, of all related realities and dimensions and states of being. Welcome back to, uh, let's play Bloodborne, and welcome back not to the Hunter's Dream, not to Yarnum, not to the Hunter's Nightmare, no, 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 no. This lovely, lovely, lovely place is the Nightmare of Mensis, uh, created by the College of Mensis, um... As a means of, well, transcending to the state of the Great Ones, of communing with them. And like all such experiments, one that has totally, utterly, and dismally failed. Largely thanks to us. I mean, when last we, uh, when we were here last in this very area, right there in fact, where that lovely spray of blood is, we defeated Mikolash, the creator and host of this nightmare, and um, sent him back to the land of the waking, which he was none too pleased about, I can tell you. Right, now, we are heading into the last part of this nightmare. A bridge descended um, when we killed Mikolash, which should allow us to access the next part of this particular nightmare. Here it is. Here it is. And there, thankfully, mercifully, is the lantern. Bloody hell, we certainly need it. Look at our blood echoes. We've got quite a lot there. And also, we need to replenish some basic supplies. Wow. Well, I wonder if it's changed yet. No, it hasn't yet, but um, things are going to be changing very soon, ladies and gents. We are very close to the very final stage of the nightmare. Welcome home. What is it? Well, let me step let's have a look. Oh, I can. I can upgrade. Isn't that lovely? Um, strength. We could go for strength, or we could go for skill. Hmm. Or we could go for another endurance. That's very good, isn't it? Or for a vitality, which is a sort of standard. Uh, let's go for an endurance. This is an endurance build, after all. And we can go for another one. Isn't that, isn't that lovely? Um, arcane. Oh, arcane's quite good. Arcane's quite good. Um, let's go for another arcane. I do like arcane builds. Um, farewell, good hunter. Yes, farewell to you too. Oh, that sounded very insincere, didn't it? Then again, she is a doll. I'm sure it's difficult to actually hurt her feelings. Uh, yeah. Okay, and anything we can fortify now? Oh, I would very much like to fortify the Amygdalan arm. I love that weapon. Um, what about blood gems? Is there anything good? Is there anything interesting going on here? Oh, wow. Who's got time for that right now? It's so exciting, ladies and gentlemen. It's so exciting. We're so close to the end. Um, I must remember to go and do the bloody chalice dungeons before we finish this, because there's... Um, there's a lot to do. Uh, Murgo's Loft Middle, I think, is what we want now. Yes, I must also remember that there's something rather special we can do before we go and do this final part. There is a secret that we... Fuck, what was that? Oh, it's. I think it's one of those cr weird crow things. I hope it's one of those weird crow things. But, um, there is something we can go and do very soon. It's very dangerous. Oh, fuck. Oh, this is not good. Shout out. Mangy flea bitten. That's so weird. It's so strange. We're actually very high in the nightmare now. Very high indeed. There we go. If we look... Oh, look, that twisted path down there. That's where we need to go. Unfortunately, there are things... I can't see them from here. That's odd. But there are things guarding that path, which we do not want to run into, believe me. What was that? I certainly heard something then. Bloodstone chunk. Oh, wow, look at this. Isn't it fabulous? Oh, the arc. Oh, fuck, can you hear her? She's down there somewhere. Yes, we are going to have to run that gauntlet, unfortunately, which um, doesn't exactly fill me with enthusiasm, I can tell you. Oh, I can hear Murgo now. Do you recognize these guys? It's the Shadows of Yarnum. They're back, ladies and gents, and as normal enemies this time. Ah, oh, we've got... Two oh, this one isn't operating. That's... 
fine. Uh, I think this is the one, actually. I do believe this is the one that grants us access to the uh, secret area. Yep, here it is. Shit! <laughs> oh, well, that went very well. I should have done it on the way up, shouldn't I? Tits, 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 tits. Okie doke. Let's try that one again, shall we? I can do better than that, ladies and gents. I'm sure I can. Oh, he was not pleased about that. Pebble? Just gave me a pebble. How pathetic is that? Oh, this is a PvP area. Um, there's often enemies summoned here. Um, other players, in fact, are often summoned here, which is not good. Okay, right. So we've got our blood echoes back. Right, let's remember this time. We'll ride it all the way down. It's through there we want to get. You see that? That window there. It's a very narrow area. It's actually rather difficult to get through without falling off. Okay, cool. So that's that shortcut. Okay. So, on the way back up, we're going to try and get through without killing ourselves. There we are. Whee! Made it! Excellent! Unfortunately, that was the easy part. Can you see them? Yeah, this is not going to be good. We've got the sedatives, excellent. We've got some blue elixir, which could be very useful here, actually. In fact, I think we will uh, we will use the blue elixir. Yeah. This um, will render us invisible for a time. Oh, it doesn't render us shit. It doesn't render us immune to that? Cock. That's not good. That's not good at all. It just means they can't see us? Fuck. That isn't good. That ain't good at all. Right. In that instance, what we need is this. God, look at them. They are some of the most hideous, monstrous, vile enemies. Oh, fuck off. L oh, you are creepy. You are flat out creepy, I can tell you. So they don't actually have to see you. That's, um, distressing. Oh, get off, get off, get off, get off! Oh, no! Oh, not good! Oh, not good! Shit. Oh! <laughs> you are vile! Ah! Oh. That path is a fucking nightmare. I can tell you. But we do want to do it. It may be worth trying to kill them, actually. I don't know whether I can. Um, we'll give it a go. Um, I'm not sure if I can do it or not. Um, oh, let's just dig more of them. I can't be arsed with them. Shut up. And you. It's not them singing. It's Murgo whinging. What I like about Murgo is that he's essentially a pure great one. Shit, I've caught that up. Fuck! <laughs> oh, God! Doing very well. Doing very well indeed. Okay. Okay, we're clearly going about this in a, a, a slightly wrong fashion. So let's, uh... Let's be a little bit more patient here, shall we? Oh, well, there's there's nothing there, so there's no point, but, um... Yes, I'm just hoping that no other players decide to come in and try to kill me. Because they can, you know! Whilst the bell-ringing woman is ringing her bell, they can. Okay. So that's basically interlinked all of the areas. We can access all of the areas of um, Murgo's Loft very easily now. It's just surviving them that's the problem. Whee! There we go. Okay. 
There may be a way of doing this. There may be a way of... Um, if we run from cover to cover... Oh, God, you're gross. Oh! Oh, did she get us then? I hope not. Look at them. They are probably the freakiest enemies in this game. Probably the freakiest enemies. Although that's uh, that's a very, very broad category, isn't it? Very broad category indeed. Oh, you didn't see me. I wonder if I can kill her. No. Probably not worth trying, to be honest. This is how you do it. You have to sort of, like, sneak around. It's very tricky, though. All right. Blue elixirs at the ready. Oh, I don't want to be seen. If I can help it. Oh, cock. Oh, don't come this way. Oh, no. Bad. Bad. Very bad. Horrible noise they make as well. If you get up close to them, something that's really, really weird and freaky about them, they look like the doll. They've actually got the clothing of... Oh, fuck, she saw us. Tits. They've got the clothing of the doll, which is really weird. Right. Stop looking at us. Oh, God. No! Damn it! We, we did so well! One of them must have followed us. Cock. Ugh. Those are nightmare apostles, by the way. Uh, very like, um, Patches. The spider. I'm assuming that they're sort of like... They're, they are the creations or the faithful of the amygdala or something like that. It's never made terribly clear. God, we're going to have to do it soon because I'm running out of sedatives. <laughs> That's not good. Shut up, Murgo. I'll give you something to cry about. Mind you, given that you've been, uh, ripped from your mother's womb and sealed away in this nightmare for all of your existence, you, I'm sure you've already got plenty to cry about. That's maybe a little cruel. <laughs> okay. Oh, fuck! Ugh. I know! I keep doing it. Okay. No more cocking around. Let's get this right, shall we? But yes, this is a, a sort of totally optional thing that we're doing here. But it's worth doing. Because it basically gives you impunity to explore this entire nightmare without that thing in the tower blasting you with frenzy. Don't know why I'm bothering, but sure, why not? Okay, let's try not to kill ourselves this time. Yeah, that's more like it. Okay. Ooh, cripes. I mean, I don't even think you can come up behind them, you know. I don't think it's possible. They've got like a 360 view arc, so... Shut up. Disgusting creature. 
Oh, fuck. The problem is we've got very high, um... Very high arcane, so we're enormously susceptible to this. Right, okay. That should do it. We should be okay now. And these guys can't see us because we have the, um... The blue elixir on. But I'm not allowing them to take us out because, um... I want to get on here. Out of it. I mean, they're actually quite passive, these guys, until you actually attack them. There we go. Right. Right, Quicksilver bullets. Good. Oh, look at the eyes. Look at the eyes. Oh, it's creepy as fuck, isn't it? Again, eyes are linked to all sorts of symbolism in this game. All sorts of symbolism. And there's lots of them around here. Look, look. Ooh, it's infested. This is what we want to pull. This lever here is going to do something interesting. Can you see it? Look down there. That is the brain of Mensis. It's a great one. And that fucking thing is what was blasting us down there. So, watch. Oh dear. Goodbye, brain of Mensis. Down it plummets. Into the pit. Fabulous. Very pleased indeed with that. Very pleased. Now! Oh, let me think of where we go now, because I'm not entirely sure. Oh, hello. This way. That's right. Where are we? I actually don't know where we are. Oh, Nightmare Apostles. Ugh. Oh, fuck! And there's a fucking... Shit! There's a... Cocking one of them. Shit! How are you supposed to do this? Jesus. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> Cock. Oh, well, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. We did the important thing. We killed the brain of Mensis, so that's, uh... That's what matters. Right, we are. Now, there should be... Somewhere near here... A door. An iron door that we can open. I just can't quite remember where it is, so you're gonna have to bear with me a little bit, ladies and gents. It may be in the, uh... The maze with Mikolash, which is slightly annoying. It's not here. But we got the key for it, if you remember, and we want to go through there. We definitely want to go through. Aha! Aha! Okay. Keep your eyes out, ladies and gents. Keep your eyes out. It's around here somewhere. It's not down there. I know it's not down there. But it's somewhere here. And that will lead us out to where the brain of Mensis was. And where it is no more. Okay. That's where Mikolash was. And of course none of his puppets are here now either, which is grand. Right, so there's the... there's the, um... the original arena where we fought him. Hmm... Oh, hello, what's this? Okay, fair enough. It's 
peculiar. Okay. But now the brain of Mensis is gone, it's actually worth exploring this entire area. Ah, there we are. This is where we want to go. See, it's very well hidden, isn't it? Very well hidden. Now, if we tried to come out here before, the brain of Mensis would have been right there. And I mean right there, and it would have just blasted us with uh, Frenzy. Which wouldn't have been good. I wish it would stop. Look, you see, there's the remains of people who've been blasted by the spe the Frenzy Spears all over this place. Oh, hello, that's nice. But we're going to head right back down, ladies and gents. It fell down that way. Um, we're going to go meet it. We're actually going to go meet the Brain of Mensis. It's an odd great one. It's a very odd one. Barring its Frenzy nonsense, it actually can't do anything. Great One's Wisdom. Great One's Wisdom. Great One's Wisdom. There, that's where it was. That's its pit there. Oh, there's something down there. I did not know that. We'll go down there then in a moment. In a moment. When I've done all this garbage. Oh, God. See, it's worth killing that thing. Well, it's worth sending it plummeting down into the abyss. Mwahaha. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Oh, this is that area from before. Yeah, where the friggin' brain woman thing is. Shit. I mean... Oh, I kind of want what's over there, but I don't want to risk it. I really don't want to risk it. Not with that friggin' thing, though. Oh, go away. I wonder if we can. I wonder if it... Hopefully it doesn't come all the way over here. That would be lovely. If it would just bugger off. Tits. It does come all the way over here. We're out here. No! Get off! Right, doesn't matter. As long as I can open the chest before I die. Quiet bell. Don't know what it does. <laughs> but we got it. Don't know what it does, but we got it. Ah! <laughs> ah okay. <laughs> oh, dear me. Fabulous. Okay. I just want to head back that way because there was something down there. And um, then we're going to head all the way down. But what does the choir bell do? Let me just uh, have a peek because I don't think I've ever used that. Choir bell, choir bell, choir bell. Where are you? Choir bell. There you are. Invigorates all cooperating parties, healing them. Special hunter tool of the choir, high ranking members of the church, fashioned after a bell that projects an arcane sound across planes of existence. The sound of this smaller silver version of the bell does not cross planes but grants vigor and healing to all cooperators. That's pretty good, actually. So it heals your companions. That's kind of cool. Yeah, don't want to bother with them. I want to go meet the Brain Immensis. Now. I don't really want to have to kill the uh, these odd little weird things again. I'd have thought you'd have given up after Mikalash died, to be perfectly honest, but... Uh... Right. Um, I think it was down this way, wasn't it? It's so difficult to navigate this area because it all looks the same. It's a very, very effective maze, actually. It's not as big as it seems. But it's all sort of twisty-turny and... Very... Ah, there you go. That's why, because it's, it's sort of like a broken-through area of the bookcase. But that's fab. We're doing very well here. Got lots of extra insight as well, I noticed. Okay. down here, wasn't it? There was a guy, and um... Okay. Woo! Ow. We're gonna have to follow the Brain of Mensis down in a minute, I'm afraid. Because there's no other way out of here. A blood rock! Oh, well, that's well worth it. 
Yeah, that was well... Unless we can... Oh, no, 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 we don't. We don't need to follow the brain of Mensis out at all. Look. There's a way. There's a way through. Oh, wow. Where are we? I actually don't know where I am now. <laughs> But I think... Oh, I'm exactly where I want to be. That's fabulous. Most pleased. I didn't realise it was so interlinked. Okay. So, we're heading down this way. And um, I think it would be in our best interests to get rid of all these guys, to be honest. Because they're going to be pains otherwise. I don't want to be cruel or anything like that, but... Um they're just going to get in the way. Yeah, you. I'm talking about you. Oh, okay. Okay, fine. You go and do whatever you want to do. Okay. There's a big one down here, isn't there? Yep. Yeah. My god, they're vulnerable to that. Oh, fuck! Fuck! Get out of the way! Whoa, whoa! De Jesus, God. Oh, and when you challenge the big one, the others come to defend him. That's kind of cool. Get out of it. Whoa. There. Killed your daddy. Oh, you little shit. Yeah. Oh god, they can actually break your, your swings. That's kind of cool. It doesn't do them any good, but it's kind of cool. Now, there it is. There it is now. That's the one we want. Make contact. Look, there's a lift appeared that was not here before. Let's just get rid of this little shit. Out of it. Okay. We need to go down. This is weird, ladies and gentlemen. I will warn you now, this is really strange. Look. There's nothing down here. It's just an abyss. Down and down and down we go. Absolutely nothing. How strange. How peculiar. There is nothing down here. But I can hear something. Oh, look. In the distance. Can you see it? I can hear it beating. Look. Oh my god. It's, it's the brain. It's the brain of Mensis. Here it is. How fantastic is that? Look at it. There's like an arm there. There's eyes here. There's this sort of tendril thing at its back. Oh, God, it's strange. It's a great one. It's an honest-to-God great one. Um, and there's something... Oh, look. Those look like small... Um, they look like putating versions of the Winter Lanterns, don't they? And there's the eye. It's totally impotent now. It can't hurt us. But if we stand here... This is going to take a little while, by the way, ladies and gents. If we stand here and do this... And just wait. It's so weird. I don't... I, it, the whole concept of it is strange, and I absolutely adore it. How you would figure that you've got to do this out, I just don't know. And I don't know how people did figure it out. The, get, the designers must have leaked it, or something. They must have leaked that you could do this. Because it is such a weird secret. But this stance doesn't stay the same. If you leave it long enough, it changes. 
look. And then it gives us the moon rune. So there we go. That's such a weird thing. And now... Well... There's no point in it existing anymore. Absolutely no point whatsoever. We may as well put it out of its misery. I wonder if uh, we can do a bit more damage with this. There is no point in you existing, Brain of Mensis. We may as well just uh, release you from the nightmare. Actually, we're doing way more with this. It can't even defend itself. It is innocent, I suppose, in its own peculiar way. It's such a weird creature. And very, very difficult to find as well. If you don't know what to do, then how you... Ah, the living string. Goodbye. Look at that. The living string. I don't even know what that does. No idea. The living string. The living string. Where are we? Oh, did we pass it? Da, 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 da. Call beyond. Black eye sky. Blood drag. Third umbilical cord. Oh. I don't know then. Maybe it's, um... I don't know. That's peculiar. I don't know. Maybe it's some special item that doesn't appear in the, uh... In the list. How very, very odd. Okay, where's the, uh... Ah, oh, there we go. Excellent. So weird. And now back up to the actual nightmare itself. Where we can go and do what we need to do. Oh, I can't be asked with you, mate. I've got things I need to do. You go away. Sod off, will you? I am busy, I'm afraid. I've got business that doesn't involve any of you. Oh yes, there are going to be dogs and things out here, and crow dogs and whatnot. Don't need to concern ourselves with them anymore. Oh no, wrong way. This is the way we want to go. And this time we're just going to ride it up. Gotta look at the roiling clouds and whatnot. This is a very good area, by the way, to um, sort out your leveling up and your blood echoes, because everything, everything gives you a fortune in blood echoes. Okay. Up we go. We look ace. Nope, don't want to go through there again. Okay, right. Let's give this a proper go, shall we? That doesn't work yet, okay. Oh, look, it's the Shadows of Yharnam again. And yes, we do have to kill them, which is an absolute pain in the fucking ass. Look, all three of them, they're back. I presume this is where they come from. Hello! Not bosses anymore, though. Just normal enemies. Isn't that grand? One at a time. Not 
not merely as tough as they were. Nowhere near as tough as they were, actually. Right, we need to be very careful because that one's going to blat us with fireballs. Or try to, if we're not very careful. Oh, get out of it with your, your crappy tonitrus. And your pyromancy. Don't impress me, sir. I'm like Shania Twain. Don't impress me at all. Oh, look at that. We're very close to the moon now. Oh, my. Oh, yes. And we need to be bloody careful, I can tell you that. Because there are, um... There are some enemies up here. There really are some enemies up there. Oh, okay. There's nothing down there. Crap. Can you hear them? Oh, Mogo so... Oh, look! It's a piggly. But... This is a very different kind of piggly. It's a very different kind of piggly indeed. There are three of them, in fact. It's a piggly that has eyes all over it. And is therefore much nastier than all of the others. Look at the eyes! Oh, God! It's so gross! Okay. Before we do anything, that bell ringing... ...bitch must be destroyed. Oh. Oh, we'll have to go back for that. Um, but before we do, the bell ringer must die, I'm afraid. I do not want other players coming in and disturbing us. There she is. In fact, I may be able to chintz her. If I can get her to the edge. Uh, yeah. I can get her from up down here. If she'll come to the edge again. Oh, you cow. There we go. She's gone. Out of my way, you. Ha-ha! No more PvP for you! And you ain't so tough as bodyguards, you know? You ain't as hot as you think you are. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I said that then, didn't I? Shit. Get out of it with your pyromancy! Right, this is going to get hard now. There are two big piglies that we need to kill. And there are also, I think, six shadows of Yharnam. One, two, three... Oh, no, only four. That's not so bad. Can get them one at a time. That'd be very handy. Hey, fireworks. Oh, homing fireworks. Of all the ones I could have aggroed, it has to be that one. Tits. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah, come on. Shit, God! <laughs> Aggressive. Yes, you got. Oh, very, very good. You got me with your candle, sir. It's a very novel form of flamethrower, that, I've got to say. Very novel form of flamethrower. Where have the others gone? Oh, there they are. Come on. Now, if you're, if you're very clever, what you can do is get the pigs to charge up here, and they charge into them and kill them stone dead. Because the pigs are pains in the arse. They really are. Oh, come on. Stop arsing about with your pyromancy and come and kill me, why don't you? Stop being a girl. I mean, you may be a girl, I don't know. <laughs> it's very hard to tell. Bloody hell, Jesus. 
If he's going to keep doing that, I'm going to do the same to him. Ow! Tits! Well, that's, uh... It's just not cricket. It's really not. Where's he gone? Oh, there he is. You see, what he's designed to do is lead you out there into the path of the piglies. That's his purpose. Where's he going? Well, if he's going to fuck about there, I'm going to just run past him. I'm not going to bother, quite frankly. Yeah. Just leave the piglies down there. Oh, look who it is! You remember her from when we killed Vacuous Rom? It's Yarnum. It is the Thumerian Queen. Yarnum herself. Waiting for her lost child. God, look at her. Isn't she fabulous? Queen of the Thumerians, the original race that established uh, Yarnum itself, in fact. And we can kill her. Um, I'm not going to, for the time being. Yusefska's blood vial. Now, where are we going? Um, is this the shortcut one? Yes, I believe it is. So that's opened this shortcut. Fabulous, that's brilliant. Very, very cool. Yarnum, Queen of the Thumerians. After which the city is named. Isn't she beautiful? She's very much... She looks a bit very like Mina from uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula after she's turned into a vampire. I think that's what she's modelled on, actually. Um, the implication being that Murgo uh, was ripped from her womb um, and secreted here in the Nightmare of Mensis. And Murgo is a hybrid child. He's both a Great One and a Thumerian. And she's essentially, um, well, begging us to... Uh, bring him back or to release him and there's only one way of doing that and that's oh look yeah so you know what this is going to bring right here we are at last the very top of Murgo's loft and after this fight ladies and gents we're very close. I mean, like, we are very close to the end of the game. And this fight is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, dear. Something is coming. <gasps> oh. Oh! Murgo's wet nurse. One of the most beautiful creatures in the entire game. Listen to the music. Murgo's lullaby. Isn't it gorgeous? And this creature is probably one of my favourites in terms of its design. I think it is absolutely stunning. Oh god, look how much health it can take away in one hit. <laughs> it's strong. It's also very powerfully arcane, this thing. Shit, I need to stop doing that. 
It's too strong to take on from the front like that. Really what you want is... Um, you need to get it from the flank. It's not very well defended on the flank if you can get it. What's it doing? Oh, I hate this. There are going to be, like, multiple nightmare versions of it appearing now. And we need to concentrate on the real one. Oh, look at that! Shit. Oh, look! Oh, it killed us! Bloody hell. Ha, ha, ha! What an awesome creature. Love it. Love it. One of my favourites, actually. I'm going to change our weapon. I'm going to change our weapon. It's weak to arcane, that thing. Right then. Arr! Let me remember how to do this. Um, first of all, don't want this weapon. Um, I want Ludwig's Holy Blade. Shut up. No, 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 no. Not Ludwig's Holy Blade. I'm getting this totally wrong. I want the Holy Moonlight Sword. That's way better. And I want it in this form. Because in this form, we can do a bit of a number on um, Murgo's wetness. So we can. There is the lady herself. I mean, usually this boss doesn't give me any trouble. I've actually killed this um, the first time I faced it. A couple of... Oh! Well, that was fucking brilliant, wasn't it? Twat. <laughs> what an arse. Ah. <laughs> ah. What a twat. Okay. Uh, let's try that one again without the unwitting suicide, shall we? But I tell you, after we defeated uh, Mogo's wet nurse, the only thing left to do really is the chalice dungeons. I can't believe how close to the end of the game we are. I actually, I cannot believe it. Actually, I'm just going to give this a go. Um, I think the speed of this will give us a real advantage. Oh, well, is it really worth it? I don't think we've got any, have we? No, I didn't think so. <laughs> Dear me. Okay. Right. I swear I won't do it again. <laughs> I hope I won't do it again. I don't even know why it bothers. We can kill her. I just, I don't want to. I don't know. Something in my craw is telling me not to. Oh dear. That is precarious. If I do it this time, it will be, um, it will be a, a very total conscious accident. Instead of me just running and not looking where I'm going. Let that be a lesson to you, kids. Ooh. Scholars everywhere. Yeah, sorry, Mikalash is gone. You may as well just go home. Your professor or tutor or whatever the fuck he was is dead. Okay, ladies and gents, let's give this one another go, shall we? 
Ach ja, Mann. Wow. There is another player wandering around here, actually, ladies and gents. It's kind of weird. Um, whoa, whoa, God. Um, I actually summoned another player before beginning this um, this battle. Uh, so he's wandering around out there somewhere in uh, my nightmare of Mensis, which is really strange. Out of the way! <laughs> he flung me right up in the air there. Oh, what's he doing? Is it going to go all purple? Yes. Ooh. Okay. What's he gonna do now? Oh, ow! That. But yes, yeah, you can see my friend is actually killing things at the moment, uh, which is where all of those blood echoes are coming from. Yes, if uh, another player is in your particular playing area, um, you get the blood echoes. Oh, here he is. It's very unusual that that happens. Oh, look! Oh, my God! All of the Phantom Mons are here! Oh, dear. That's not good. Thing. Oh, slicing me into Linguini there. Oh, God! Oh, God! There's a, there's a phantom one around here still. Shit! Not good. Not good at all. Oh, my friend is doing fabulous work against it there. Oh, oh, no, don't want to get caught by that. And down it goes. Fabulous. Thank you so much, sir. You have been of enormous help. Thank you. Fabulous. And goodbye, sir. Thank you so much, my friend. Excellent. Okay, goodbye, sir. Nightmare slain. Oh. And there is the third umbilical cord. Goodbye. Goodbye, sir. <laughs> what are you doing, you nutcase? Oh, so there it is. That's the end of the nightmare, ladies and gentlemen. That is the end of Murgo, the unseen one. We defeated his guardian. And now... The knight is going to move on to its final phase.